after a few hours, Hezbollah ambushed us, and we were, uh, we were inside this building, and they, were start, they started shooting missiles at us. Uh, it was an ambush, and as a result, uh, nine of my friends died. Actually, some of them died in my arms. I couldn't help them. And all of us were injured. I myself was injured. Uh, I lost sight in my right eye. Um, but that was a minor injury, I would call it, compared to, to my friends and compared to everything that will follow. For me, the foundation became the center of my life. I mean, um, before that, I was, after the war, I was alone. I was alienated from, from the world around me, my friends. No one could understand me, no? No one, no one could understand what I've been through. And actually, um, after, after I was in the foundation, suddenly I wasn't alone anymore. And not only that, I had the privilege to be able to help other people. Mm, there's no, it's, um, there's no other, other way. The more you try to take care of yourself, the more you stay alone. The more you let people into your heart, the more your heart becomes fuller and you become a happier person. Hope for us and gave me the tools to help other people and by that helping myself. I got uh, three bullets in my left arm, another four bullets in my neck, um, in my back, another three bullets in my neck, in this event, two in my left leg, and uh, another in the, uh, near the, uh, yeah, in the leg, downstairs. How do you call it, a hip? Cast. At the calf, I feel the love. I, I feel the. I feel strong when I am among them. I feel stronger. A stronger man. Among who? Among my friends from the foundation. We are proud. We know that we are part of the history of the state of Israel. Take three thousand years ago. There, there was also fighters. King David was a fighter. I got injured 10 years ago in, uh, at the West Bank. At first, at the first time I got one bullet in the chest and it went through my back. And see the, uh, the soldier who was with me, Abishai, and he actually is here in the uh, <clears throat> foundation too. And uh, I saw him and he was, he was like, um, I thought he was dead because uh, part of his brain was uh, outside, I thought it was part of his brain and uh, what, what became to be uh, part from my back that flows from my back to his face. And they said to my parents that I'm, uh, it will be a miracle if I will be alive and it will be a miracle if I can walk again. Because, because of the uh, clinic death and uh, the things that happened. This, this two words, Achim Lachaim, it's, it's so powerful because the word brothers say so much and for, for Lachaim, for life, say so much. Then you put these two, two words together, brothers for life. It's, it's like complete all, all the things that we do here, all the things that we do in, in this amazing foundation. This is the people that I want to spend time with them. This is the people that when they speak, is, is, it's pure, it's, it's real. They're sharing their, their real feelings. And what we do to ourselves is with no interest interest for, for anything. It's with no benefit. We do it because we love each other. It's, we're doing it because we care for each other. These warriors, this is like the pure of the pure of salt of the earth. And for me, these people, like, this is the front line. This is the Israeli keepers. This is the people that because of them, Israelis exist and the, and the, and the Jewish nation is exist. I guess that if you look like 5,000 years ago until now, you see it's, it's not so easy to to kill us and destroy us and uh, we're going, I think that we're going to stay here much more longer. <laughs>